The state government's Office of Corrections was rocked this week by allegations of rampant drug abuse and sexual misconduct at Victoria's largest women's prison. Joining us with more from just outside the Dame Phyllis Frost Correctional Centre is Matt Nielsen. Cut, cut, no, cut it. Matt, cut. we're on live TV. Shit, I couldn't get through to you earlier. I can't do the report. Oh, what? Has the state government barred journalists from covering the story? This is huge. No, I just got sent to the wrong place. I can see the prison behind you. This might look like a women's prison from the outside, Paul, but it's actually just a series of small, caged rooms containing hideous, shrieking she-devils who are kept under constant watch by an organised group of guards. Matt, that's what prison is. Wrong again, Culliver. Look it up. I know I did. I spent hours watching all the documentaries about women's prisons I could find. Guilty Sluts 14, Foxy Felons Part 4, Moist Miscreants, and of course, Naughty Prison Whores Tit Fucking, though I had to order that one from Thailand. This place doesn't have nearly enough danger, desire, or muff diving to qualify as a true women's prison. You've been brainwashed by pornography, and not for the first time. Or the last, Paul. Okay, so when you were inside the series of small caged rooms, did you see any evidence of the drug trade? Was there any trafficking? I can heroin? confirm that these heroin allegations are false. Wow, it sounds like you've accidentally undertaken some journalism in between your normal turn on that seesaw between insanity and obliviousness. No seesaws here, Paul, and certainly no heroines. These women are criminals, not role models admired or idealised for their outstanding achievements or noble qualities. Oh, for God's sake. What about the alleged epidemic of psychological trauma amongst the prisoners? Well, there was this thing I heard in the showers after the daily exercise session. What? You're telling me. It wasn't like the documentaries at all. There was so much... hair. Anyway, I can reveal that these problems are closely linked to the sexual misdemeanours occurring here. Really? So we're talking about prisoners abusing each other, causing serious trauma. trauma. Paul, I don't know what documentaries you get your research from, but all the dirty, naughty fanny fun here has been committed by the prison officials, who are swapping shifts around and furiously copulating on company time. And how does this cause problems for the prisoners? Well, apparently this hanky-panky was happening in the officer's room, right next to the prisoner's cells. So? So, have you seen the people who work at these prisons hearing the stifled moans of 300 kilos of flabby flesh slapping against each other is enough to push anyone to the edge? <clears throat> Matt Nielsen there, scarring us for life. Excuse me. 